What's going on guys? Super excited to be back here in Yosemite Valley coming at you from the four mile trail. Uh, looks like right now it is closed three miles up so we're doing the three mile trail and we'll check out this closure and see what it looks like. The four mile trail that's going to be one of your best options this summer for getting up to the top of Glacier Point there. Um, it's probably going to be closed till late summer they're looking at maybe august uh don't quote me on that but that's uh what i'm hearing so we're gonna go check out this trail closure three miles up here so we got some signs here union point three miles um and that's where the trail closure is so glacier points 4.6 miles up so they should call it the uh 4.6 mile trail instead of the four mile trail, but I guess it doesn't have the same ring to it. So yeah, we'll check it out. So the trailhead starts on the uh, south side of the valley, about uh, halfway into the valley, and it's gonna be uh, right by Sentinel Beach there. Uh, there's signs for it. Parking is limited right there. Um, so summertime, you might need to take a shuttle to it. Uh, one piece of advice I could offer you about Yosemite, is to get here early um, this is the first summer they're not requiring reservations um, in a few years so uh, it's busy i heard horror stories about memorial weekend and just people waiting hours like four hours to get just into the gates so you'll have a lot better time if you uh, start early and if you wait till after 10 11 o'clock to try and get into the gates you're too late. So that's probably my best Yosemite advice I can give to you. Very cool. And this trail is cool because the views just keep changing perspective the whole way up. Um, so you just keep getting a little bit different angle of the valley and Yosemite Falls. Um, and then of course, Glacier Point Spectacular at the top. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to get all the way up there today. But uh, it'll give me a reason to come back maybe in a month or so. That's ah, so green right now and uh, Merced River is just swollen up down there in the valley really cool shot of Yosemite Falls here and there's just so much water running right now everywhere all kinds of little slot canyons um, just coming down with water so you got to be really careful with creek crossings in the early summer, um, especially when the high country becomes more accessible. So we're already getting into some pretty good patches of snow here. valley's really opening up I'm having to go really slow on this trail just because it's a mix of asphalt and loose granite little pebbles so it's really tough on the feet right now I'll probably wear flip-flops and run down um, just to get some good action <laughs> there's actually an awesome trail uh, you can take starting at Tunnel View that uh, goes up and follows this ridge line, hits Stafford Point, um, goes around Bridavale, and 
all the way up to Glacier Point. It's a, a butt kicker. It's basically the one end of the Pohono Trail. So most people do the Pohono Trail from uh, Glacier Point to Sentinel Dome, um, but it continues on and goes all the way down to Old Inspiration Point and uh, Tunnel View. Uh, it's really hard to go from Tunnel View to Glacier Point, but uh, just some really incredible, incredible hiking through there. So if you want to feel your legs burn like they never have before, do it. And it's probably 13 miles one way. Um, I'd have to look that up. But uh, yeah, you're looking at a marathon round trip. But it's all downhill on the way back. And it's amazing this four mile trail was originally built in 1872 uh, as a toll road, uh, $1 toll road to get up to Glacier Point from Yosemite Valley. And you had to have a really blinged out horse to afford that. You can get a nice, nice bottle of whiskey in 1872 for a dollar. Or who knows how many loaves of bread. That's pretty cool though. A lot of history in Yosemite. So I would ask to see some wildlife, but uh, last time I did that, I manifested uh, rattlesnakes everywhere. So I'm gonna be careful, careful with my words this week. I think I'm good. I'm not seeing any wildlife today after the rattlesnake incidents. And we're getting into some good views of Half Dome here. That's pretty cool. We got Yosemite Falls over here. Indian Rock. This is that North Dome? North Dome there. Half Dome. Clouds Rest in the background. Up in the middle, it's 10,000 foot elevation at the top of that. I'm definitely hitting that up as soon as. Uh, we get a little more snow melt. Ah, oh, we're finally on a nice trail here. This feels good. I'll take pine cones and pine needles any day over asphalt. Oh, this is nice. If I haven't seen a whole lot of snow yet. I was thinking this trail was closed because of snow. So it really makes me want to keep going because I have a feeling they're going to open the trail to the top like tomorrow or sometime soon. But there could be some unknown hazards that I'm not aware of. So maybe I'll just just wait. Alright, so we're starting to see some little patches of snow here and there. And it's amazing how fast little patches turn into complete snow drifts. So, which could be quite dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. So I see why MPS always errs on the side of caution. And here we are, area closed, do not enter. I'd be really tempted 
just to go check it out and see what kind of hazards there are but uh, we got a $280 fine so I don't really want to mess with that right now and Glacier Point we're just 1.6 miles away so sad that uh we can check out Union Point 222 feet over here and get some nice views of Yosemite Falls. Yosemite Falls. North Dome. Clouds Rest. And Half Dome. So it's kind of funny they have a, the fine for going past Union Point right now is $280. Um, which is an interesting number because it kind of makes you want to almost go for it um, but at that point it just kind of turns into a toll trail now, it's funny how this trail started as a one dollar toll road and uh, now it is a toll road again because if you get caught it's a 280 dollar fine which is uh, borderline worth going for it but uh, I don't know there might be some hazards up there so just play it safe and follow the rules this time it's probably the best idea okay so I threw the my hiking flip-flops on I got the reefs going today uh, not my typical rainbow sandal that I love but uh, these should help me make good time out of here and we're gonna uh, run it down and hopefully get out of here really quick Go get some more shots in the valley. We're going hyper speed. I've always loved rock hopping ever since I was a little kid and uh, trail running is one of my favorite things to do. But you just can't go fast downhill barefoot so throw on the flip flops and put it in overdrive drop an elevation pretty quick so we're getting down getting down the hill fast wouldn't recommend this if you got bad knees it's pretty high impact here Good views all the way down. Spin move. All right, guys, so that about does it for the four mile trail. Um, took me an hour and 40 minutes to get up there to uh, Union Point. It's three miles up. Uh, I was going pretty slow, um, but I just got down in 45 minutes. Uh, running down so that was good times uh, someone said they spotted a snake sounds like it was the little uh, we call them racers I'm not sure what the uh, technical term is but uh, I was looking for it couldn't find it but uh, I'm sure I'll come across one uh, sometime soon but those are cool little aggressive snakes they're fast uh, pretty hard to catch but non-venomous so uh, 
we can try and wrestle one of those one of these days but uh thanks for tuning in here i'm gonna go uh try and get some bonus footage of uh yosemite falls or merced river here uh it's roaring so see if we can get get some cool shots peace out love you